And he mixed it up as far as the kicking. Not a bad option there, but Smith with sure hands brought it down. Andrew Webster can't sit down. And now Pappenhausen loses it. The ball ripped away. Pappenhausen might be penalised here. He will be. And the Warriors can take two more points to make it an eight-point lead. Yeah, they've frustrated them into error. They just have suffocated them in the second half. And Pappenhausen looking to offload the footy. Kate well there, just dragging the ball back. No problems with that. Referee was clear saying it was Barnett's footy. Pappenhausen just wouldn't let go. And it gave Chris Butler, the referee, no other opportunity than to penalise Pappenhausen right in front of the post. And the Melbourne big guns getting, getting frustrated. And you saw the replay there. Chris Butler was right on top of that situation. Saw that it was backwards off the Warriors initially. Yeah. Pappenhausen lost the race of the ball with Barnett. And on with it in the tackle. And from right in front, back-to-back -back penalty goals to make it a six-point lead to the Warriors. And now this one for Metcalf to make it an eight-point lead. And Craig Bellamy, with eight minutes remaining, not looking all that positive. No. They've just had absolutely no opportunity at all. The one time that they got down there, Alec McDonald just came up with an unforced error, just a simple drop. Other than that, they just had to bring down the Warriors end at all to attack and it's been yeah, he is having a great time tonight the big fella he is having a great time and it's for the Warriors it's their stars Warren they are standing up in the second half there you go right on cue two of us a check what a second half he's had that was brilliant the in the away the fend on Mooney it was two of us a check back to his absolute best he is having a night out big Roger he looks like the man who won the 2018 Dally M medal. Short restart here, a collision between Johnson and Berry, and things certainly falling the Warriors' way after they were a bit tough on a few occasions for luck in the first half. I think most neutral judges would see it that way. Capewell here brings it back towards midfield. Nick. This 14-game drought for the Warriors. We mentioned some of the hidings. You and I did the Anzac Day game in 2022. They lost 70 points to 10. They've also been beaten 50 to 6 by the Melbourne Stormers. Two of Varsashek goes forward. 50 to 10 back in 2018. They've copped some fathers of hidings by the Melbourne Storm. They're looking for redemption here tonight. It's been put down by two of Varsashek. Yeah, very similar to what we saw uh, Harry Grant happen to Harry Grant in the opening half. You can see there just coming forward and a little bobble in the play the ball. And this could be just the moment, six and a half minutes remaining that Melbourne need. Just open the door, a fraction for them here. And at the back end of this set, they'll get an opportunity to, to really lay on some attacking plays. What have they got here? We've seen them do it so many times in the past during the, the Craig Bellamy era. And it's Warbrick from dummy half. They have had a handful of play the ball still in Warriors territory in this second half. We've had 34 minutes of play. Pezzett showing it back on the inside. They're there for just the sixth play the ball in the second half. Chan playing it. Comes across to Wishart, showing it back on the inside for Liero. Harris to Vita, wraps him up. Back in Warriors colours. It's Grant for Liero. Comes to Pezzett, Grant, Wishart, showing it extravagantly there. Does well to poke his nose through the line, and they'll play it on the last at the 20. Grant showing it to Hughes, back to Pappenhausen. A trick shot from Melbourne. Montoya goes up, can he bring it back? No, he won't. What about that play to get the ball back via a goal line dropout? Well, Hughes raced 20 metres across the ruck. Beautiful late show there from Grant. Then Pappenhausen just arrived out of nowhere. And Warbrick just fractionally missed the kick. Had he been there a bit earlier, he may have been able to get over the top of Montoya. That was good work from the Warriors winger. 
Will Johnson go long? Will he go short? They love a short one. They lead by eight. He drives it towards the sideline, and there to take it on the full was Jerome Hughes. It was a good kick by Johnson. Well positioned. There's the opposing halfback. All right, Jerome Hughes, he was brilliant in the, in the opening 40 minutes. What's he got at the moment? Runs to Pappenhausen, runs towards Johnson. Some help there from Capewell. They can hang on here, the Warriors. They'll go a long way towards wrapping this game up. Meany at the 20. Midway through the sets. As Grant looks left, goes right. For Newell Blake was there at marker. Runs into him. Grant thought he might have had him not square. Hughes now at the line. Liero, a full 360. Harris DeVita in front of him. Barnett also there. Only metres out. On the last play. Grant for Pappenhausen. He grubbers. But then he's a Lesniak is there. He cleans up. It's another goal line dropout. Well, the wingers for the Warriors tonight have been absolutely superb. Pappenhausen just a little wide, almost. Dropped the footy there as he was trying to drop the ball into his kick position. Zalesniak did brilliantly well. Very, very well with that ball skidding along the wet grass to pick that up cleanly. Warriors using up every available second on the dropout clock. Again, it goes to Hughes, who takes it at the halfway line. Inside three and a half minutes remaining. They've got all the attackers up on the front line waiting for the short kick. There's no forwards back around Hughes. King gets there to take a carry to take them back inside the 30. Wishart parking instructions at first receiver. Grant goes to him. Nero back on the inside, runs towards Capewell. Strong run, but they need points and they need them now. Grant for Pezzett comes to Hughes. Pappenhausen back on the inside. Got a lovely ball from Katoa. A Melbourne Storm special. In the nick of time, will give them a chance. Yeah, he did it in the first half, and it's Pappenhausen at his absolute best. Pushing back through the middle. Such an elusive ball runner with incredible speed. Nice and straight into the line was Pezzett. So too Hughes. Katoa, great skill. The former warrior, that was beautiful. Big man out on an edge, playing back on the inside. This will show it beautifully. Look at them isolate Metcalf there and Jackson Ford and then just cutting them. Like a knife through hot butter, Ryan Pappenhausen. That was brilliant. It was Chan in the first half who delivered the ball on the inside for this man, Ryan Pappenhausen. Katoa on the right edge second time around to give them a chance here for two and a half minutes on the clock trailing by four golden they... point in townsville are we Earlier. going back to back we may be going back to back golden point if many can kick it at worst, you'd imagine in regulation time they'll get a chance at a two-point field goal from yeah. outside the 40. If they can come up with enough oh, metres, yeah. Meany bends it back. It's a two-point game with two minutes on the clock in Melbourne. It's such a great play for Ryan Pappenhausen. And, and, you know, it's great coaching because you've just got to coach to the strength of your players, and that is Pappenhausen's strength. Finding little vulnerabilities and being able to expose him with his just blistering speed. What a kick that is for Mooney. Great to see him back in the game. Great to see him having highlight moments again. He's looked great at times tonight, Pat, but he has it. And there are so many fears for his career off the back of the very serious injury again at the end of last season. He's dynamic. He's grabbed a double tonight to give them a chance. It's Kamakamitha. Inside his own 20. Melbourne 80 metres away from where they need to be. Maybe they only need to be another 30 or so downfield to give them a chance at a two-point field goal. Grant comes across to Liero. They'll take it forward through Chan. He's 15 short of the halfway line. They've used up three tackles. Grant. 
for Liero. Goes out the back. Hughes. Oh. Pappenhausen was on the inside. Long ball. Warbrick had to wait. Beats Montoya. Runs to Metcalf. Here they are. 40 metres out. Two plays remaining. Hughes takes it across the 40 metre line. They want to score a try to win it right here. Pez it across to Coates. They grab him. Berry was there. So was Wateni Zalesnia. 35 metres out. It comes to Pezet. Skips back inside the 40. Charged down by Barnett. It bounces. Hughes for Pappenhausen. Metcalf grabs him by the collar. Gives it to Warbrick. 45 seconds on the clock. Now they're too close. They have to win it with a try. Meany inside the 20. There's time to set it up for the same play again for yeah. Pappenhausen to score. Hughes, Pezzett, Pappenhausen, Remus Smith. He goes to oh! Coates! Oh! Coates! Oh! Can you believe it? Coates! My gosh! He leaps across. He jumped like a rainbow and came up with a pot of gold for Melbourne. Unbelievable! That is stunning from Xavier Coates. If he has got that footy down, that, that's a miracle. The amount of time that he is in the air is dead set unbelievable. It was great work out to their left hand side. Smith did well just to get the footy in his hands early enough to give him a shot at the line. Zelezniak was coming, look at this. He leaps from five or six metres out. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> He's six feet in the air. It's a photo finish between his left hand hitting the turf and the ball it got hitting it the turf. The ball beats his left hand by centimetres. Watch it again. Oh, that's the that's the best try I've ever seen. Need to see the reverse angle once again to see where his left hand is in relation to the ball just to confirm it. Craig <laughs> Bellamy watching on. What a shot that is. They're beside themselves in the Storm coach's box. Xavier Coates he was six feet in the air, Mick. It might have been as high as anybody we've seen. We've seen some incredible finishes over the year. I mean, Zelezniak's had, had, had one tonight. But I don't know if we've ever, like, I'm not sure we've ever seen one like it. That is absolutely ridiculous, what he has just done. He's leapt from six metres out. He's dead set five or six metres out from the goal line. He is completely vertical. Just watch his left hand and the ball. Ball just before left hand. Unbelievable. It's a split second. Try confirmed. And Melbourne win it here in the most dramatic of circumstances. To extend the winning streak to 50. Dean straight against the Warriors. They've scored twice in the final two and a half minutes of the game. It's cruel for the Warriors, but how composed were the Melbourne Storm Stars when they had to stand up? Yeah, it was brilliant. They had some wonderful moments in the first half, but they were, all, they were completely suffocated. The Warriors were great. They take nothing away from the Warriors. This is pure heartbreak. Look at this, Sean Johnson, just trying to reinforce the spirit and the bravery they showed. 